I've checked my Huawei about 4,000 times for an update, and suddenly I didn't check it today. I was busy. I got this Moto Folio for my Motorola, but in the meantime, lo and behold, I opened this guy up today, and suddenly, boom, here I am. A sweet update. Take a screenshot of that real quick. Alright, so now, this is what I've been waiting for. It's very exciting. Let's zoom in a little bit. Filming this on my uh, LG V20. Uh, I really love my Huawei, so I should change look. Floating navigation dock, I don't think I'll care about that. Faster AI. Base, safer, cooler. Private space menu, a bunch of stuff going on here. I'm not going to read all this. Not even remotely. I'm going to go with quick update. Let's time it out where it... Let's go. I'm in trouble here. 7.20 p.m. Quick update. It says pause. We'll see how long it takes. You can see it downloading in the background here. I'm going to blur all this out probably. I probably should have done this before I started. I should note that I haven't been using my Huawei Mate 9 because it's been on such I'm in the United States. It has not had a security update since uh, it hasn't had a security update since April 2017. I even have it since I've had it since like August. So basically I've never had a security update since I've had this phone. Uh, and so I quit using it around the time the Blueborn and crack after that. Because uh, I also had this Moto Z2 Force and the LG V20 that I'm filming this on. I do really like the Moto Z2 Force. Uh, I have another video on my channel where I updated the Moto Z2 Force to Android Oreo. And since then, it's been on December 1st, 2017 security patch and no updates since then. On my LG V20 that I'm filming this on, it's on Nougat still, but has the January update. Alright, so we still got a ways to go here. I don't have a SIM card in here, we're just doing this over Wi Fi, so we're only at 13%. Uh, so I switched out, so here's a case for my V20, so you can see the size comparison between. The V20 and the Moto Z2 Force and the Huawei. Right? Uh, physically, these are about the same. Obviously, the phone's not in here, but it's about the same size. The case, of course. Huawei 5.9 inch screen, 5.7 inch screen, 5.5 inch screen. Uh, my Huawei was really my favorite. I left the Samsung S8 Plus for the Huawei Mate 9. Got it off of Amazon. Pretty good price, somewhere around 500. And uh, but I stopped using it because all the you know security concerns and whatnot. And I already had the Moto Z2 Force. And I wanted a bigger phone, so I got this LG V20 that I'm recording on here. Uh, so. It's been since at least November since I've been using this Huawei as my daily driver. I'm excited to get back into it. Uh, I'm also be excited to see if it has the the Mate 10 has a feature where you can just plug a screen into this USB-C port and it works. So I have this Asus. Uh, Zen screen here that I've had a video about as well. I'm gonna try plugging that in once this guy updates and we'll see if it works like that. 28%. Uh, I've got some wine here. 
I highly recommend drinking wine while you update your software. Makes the day go by. So we can fast forward to this if we want, but well, we're at 724 now, five minutes total in the video. Oh, it's one thing I wanted to comment on. A lot of people don't like, or at least reviewers will say they want stock Android and they don't want uh, EMUI or whatever, right? It's a lot of cool features. Uh, like, I like this part. So I don't even have a Pebble connected anymore, but on most uh, devices, this would be a persistent app. You couldn't even get rid of it, right? You'd have to hold down and go to the settings and all that stuff. Huawei, straight out the box, you can just swipe it away, which is pretty great. The battery's getting kind of low. Let me plug this in real quick. But yeah, so we'll can, I can show you. So it has system eight. So it is showing the new version there. As you can see, new version versus current version. And let me see if I can go to about phone. So currently it's on EMUI version 5.0, Android version 7, Android version 7.0. Security patch April 5th, 2017. Mm -hmm. Pretty bogus. Uh, I wonder what happens if I do this. Alright, it's already the same thing it goes to. Alright, so I have a little countdown timer here too. That's cool. Yeah, so like videos that so are 50% downloaded. This will be on my home Wi-Fi, my Google Wi-Fi, Google Wi-Fi mesh router, my Spectrum Internet. Uh, let's just do a little speed test to see how fast my home Wi-Fi is. I'm going to use old speed test by Ookla app on my Moto Z2 Force. Should be getting 100 down. We'll see how fast that's going. And nowhere near that. Well, I ain't gonna speed up now. Still not quite 100. Yeah, it's not a win from Spectrum there. Google Wi-Fi. Google Fiber is coming to Louisville, so which is where I'm at, Louisville, Kentucky, so that's pretty exciting. Let's just do a speed test on my old Google Wi-Fi app while well, we're waiting for this to go down. Alright, so here's my Google Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and that stupid light is shining on here. Let's test, start all test. Let's see if there's a disconnect. I'm only about uh, 20 feet in direct line sight of my router, but I'm on a desk, I have metal legs and I'll see all these screens up here and I'm on tripod and all that. Google Wi-Fi app is pretty cool though. Obviously we're here to see the Huawei update, but I'm just killing time. Alright, so from the direct so this is testing directly from the router. Uh so still not getting 
Still not getting my full hundred, but much better. Let's test my mesh net. Test my mesh network. Check back in on all Huawei. Seventy-one percent. It's a cool little animation, I think, when it's testing your mesh network. I got three Google uh, Wi-Fi pucks in here. So I got my Spectrum internet connected up to a Aris surfboard cable router. Then going to Google Wi-Fi. Mesh test failed. That's not good. Let's try again. That's another cool thing of a. Uh, EMUI or MUE that every time you pause it or hit the power it changes your wallpaper right so now we have these little flashy guys now we got teacups now we got flowers and anytime you know anytime you go to the lock screen all right so my wi-fi so my bedroom's getting a little weak living room's good and the wi bedroom's a little fur fur a little far away from here Maybe too much wine. Let's test my Wi-Fi to this location. I'm directly 20 feet from my main hub in the bed in the living room. It's probably directly above me or pretty close above me. Also not good. See different screen every time. Now there's only my complaint would be there should be some more variety in these screens, right? Supposedly great Wi-Fi at this location. I don't know about that. Fun fact. Uh, so this one had a persistent notification. I had to install this hide running in the background notification app. I wonder if the Huawei will do that as well. This was something from the Play Store. If you don't have this, then you have this persistent uh, things running in the background notification that I did not want. Alright. Ninety two percent. Let's go back up. Oh, all that glare right there is weird. Maybe if I move something in front of that light. Right over here. We'll move that. Asus thin screen. No, that's not doing anything, is it? Seven percent. So just around the corner. I don't really know how to block that. Alright, so what have we been? I forgot what time we started. So 13 minutes on the video so far. So not bad to download. 2.71 gigabytes. 99%. Anything cool gonna happen at 100? Alright, I like these little pop ups from EMUI as well. I think they're all cool looking. I don't want stock Android, I think stock Android is boring. About the closest I could get to stock Android is this Moto. Alright. There we go, so our update will be installed. Let's take a picture of that. I'm going to go ahead and update. And we're restarting. So yeah, this is about as close as I would get to stock Android. 
Oh, another little note. Uh, so on this one, Oreo on here, on the Moto, automatically adds things to the home screen. And you gotta turn it off on this little setting app here. So like anytime you install a new app. Alright, this is cool looking. So yeah, I'm excited to see what security patches is going to be on. I'm excited to try Oreo out in the EMU. I've tried Oreo out on the Moto. I'm excited to try Oreo out on the EMU on the Huawei and EMUI 8.0. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. We're supposed to be MUE. I know it's Emotion UI or Emotion User Interface. I don't know if EMUI has some kind of naming. It took me forever to figure out how to say Huawei, and I'm still not sure I've seen it right. Who or why? I'm drinking Apothic Red. It's delicious, and it's like 10 bucks. Highly recommend. Alright, as far as old EMUI. Alright, well, so now we're installing our update. Fast to install, real fast to install. Update success. Device will restart. A little vibrate action. Standard wall play. Initialize screen. This phone's pretty perfect. Um, I would be interested in upgrading to the Huawei Mate 10, not the Pro, the regular 10, because I like the 6x9, I like the large screen. I would like a front facing inner, uh, front facing fingerprint sensor. And of course, a better camera. I'm always going to like that. I'll be interested to see if this has any camera improvements. I am no photographer by any means. I just use auto focus every time. But I found the Huawei camera not to be as good as my Moto Z2 Force and neither one of them to be as good as my LG V20. I will say if the Mate 10 with the front uh, fingerprint sensor, if it had wireless charging, I would buy that immediately. That's really the only thing I'm lacking here. I prefer a front uh, fingerprint sensor and I love wireless charging. Alright, so we just unlocked it. Android is starting. Don't have a SIM card in there. I'm going to put one in. I do have a micro SD card. Uh, something like this little circle guy around Gmail that Android 8 does. Ah, there's that awful thing. This guy. Pebble is running in the background, right? This Android system notification. So you can't really swipe it away. You just kind of got to ignore it, but I don't want to ignore it. I want to swipe it away. Am I done? Usually there'd be some kind of notification to let you know that we're fully done, but I guess we are. I don't see anything. There was my ring on my wine glass. Alright, well, let's just see what's going on down here. So let's click on old settings. This looks pretty similar. These icons are cleaned up a little bit, I think. Uh, let's go to system. This is much condensed than it was previously. Uh, Alright. Let's go to about phone. Device name, mate net. I meant to change my, my hotspot to mate net, and I changed my name, device name to that. Alright, so we can see our build number is MHA L298.0360 on the C567. 
AMUI version 8. Does it do anything? Android Oreo version. There we go. We got this little guy. People like that, I guess. And if you hold that down, you should get that little octopus guy. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't care, I'll use the octopus thing. Yeah, well, man, who cares? Oh, I'll bet that was happening there. So it looks like let's just try a system update on the current version. Change log and all that. That's good. Did I see my security version? Mount phone. Build. Android security patch. January 1st, 2018. So that's good. So now it's on par with my LG V20. Except it has them. So now my Huawei is my winner of my three phones. I have an LG V20, I have a Moto Z2 Force, and this Huawei Mate 9. LG V20 is on the January 1st security patch, but Android 7.0. Moto Z2 Force is on Android 8.0, but December security patch. Huawei now is the winner with Oreo and uh, this terrible thing, right? Alright, so... Let's see if anything looks different. Going through my actual apps. I don't remember if Gmail had that little circle around it before or not. It definitely did that on my Moto. I don't recall. I'd look at the video and see if I believe it was square shaped though instead. I prefer the square. I don't like those little white circles. Uh, let's see if anything looks like it's been added. So far I don't see any differences. My remote. I don't have it. I had it set up. I thought that's all right. I can set that back up. Uh, oh, tips. I don't recall that being there before. I don't agree. Use shortcuts to go straight. Oh, I see. Touch and hold the camera app to go to a selfie. So let's just do. Oh, there we go. So we can go right and sell. Okay, so that's a neat little trick. Oops. Navigate with one hand. What? Oh, I don't want that little floating dock thing. That sucks. Yeah, no thanks. Swipe down from the status bar and enable. Is this the status bar? Well, I don't see how you do that. But I don't want to do that. Take a screenshot with your knuckle. Don't want to do that. I like this little shortcut guy right here. And long screenshot. That's the scroll. That's some more knuckles. We got the scroll button here. And this screenshot. It has this little scroll shot. So that's great. It's one of the best screenshot features. Really, I uh, used to think that LG Quick Capture was the best, but this is probably better. 
Lock on when it calls the messages. From the dial, touch the more out. Block. I feel like they'll probably already in there. Secure space for files. Uh, so that's something that uh, I saw for the Mate 10, where you can have like a separate app with your private space. Uh, let me go into that into a different video. Doesn't need to be in here. Scan business cards and contacts. That's cool. Sync your contacts, career information. I don't care about that. Quickly find a contact. Swipe down on the home screen. All right. Oh, there we go. I see. Oh, that's neat. Oh, I like that. So that is cool. Go back to tips. Add meeting notifications to your calendar. Use calendar to manage your work schedule. I feel like that should have been there already. It might not have been. Sign into two social media accounts. Uh, that was in there before. I don't know if you need for that. Blur the background. That's the bokeh effect. B O K E H. Uh, I don't really care about that either. Take moving photos. That's like that live photo stuff. I don't really care about that. Monochrome, that was in there before. 3D panoramas. Again, it's cool, but I'm not going to use it. Highlights, so that's cool. I like a built in gallery that does cool features. Alright, so well, let's wait a second. Quick tips. Well, that's all your tips. There's your user guide, too. I like that. Uh, so that was then the phone clone, I don't know what that is. Phone management. That looks the same, I'll go through this some other time. I'm just trying to see what's different in oil. Yeah, these white circles weren't around, that's on the Google apps. Those weren't there previously, that little dot guy you can see. That's a new feature. And we have all right. So yeah, tips looks the same. Themes. This one might be new. I don't really remember. Let's just check it out. Release two six eighteen. So that should be a new one. Let's go ahead and apply that. Yeah, not really my cup of tea, but, you know, whatever, I'm just trying things out. See, the weather app looks same different, looks about the same. I like their weather app, though. Yeah, I like their weather app. I like a lot of stuff about the Huawei Mate 9, so I'm excited to be back in here. Um, it seems to be all of their... Oh, they have that fun little mirror app. Maybe you can just break the mirror. It's pretty neat, huh? Or you could freeze if you blow into the microphone. See, it's like bogging over and they right in it. That looks the same though, nothing really changed there. Let's go back to hold on here and see if I have a settings there. Without with that home screen loop, I don't know. Badge app icons. Alright, I want that on. Home layout. Auto rotates. I don't see an option to automatically add an app to my home page. I don't want that to happen. I like to be in charge. Yeah, change the texture to a circle. That wasn't that way before. So it did change the icon some. Uh, let's see, nothing over here. 
flashlight seems the same. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I think this guy's not gonna go away. Let me, like I said, I'll try to use my install Pebble. So I don't really use my Pebble anymore. I use it more like an alarm clock. Let's uninstall Pebble. I do like how UMUI has all these little big pop-ups, big buttons. Uninstall Pebble. Alright, so now my persistent notification did go away. But, I'm going to tie my gear smartwatch to it. I don't know if it will have the same persistent notification or not. Uh, if it does, I have an app for it. Well, I guess I can do it. My battery's too low to try to hook that up. I'll put a link in the description to this app. Uh, let's see. Because it was really annoying on my moto. This hide running in the background notification. I'll put a link in there in case it's a problem. Uh, they may have fixed it by now, I don't know. But it was really annoying when Oreo first came out. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Calculator, let's see if it looks any different. I don't think so, it looks the same. Uh, I'm going to look at calendar, I don't know, I want you all to see my calendar. Calendar looks the same. I like the calendar a lot. Uh, like I said, I like a lot of stuff here. Let's see if there's any different camera features. Uh, I feel like this icon here is a little different. Oh, it's portrait mode. Yeah, so that is a different feature, right? Yeah, yeah, those are different looking icons. That portrait thing wasn't in there. Maybe that bokeh effect or whatever, the copying that iPhone stuff. There's your pro mode. I don't want to be in pro mode. Alright, so uh, like I said, is right now I don't have, let me look at my contacts see if that's any different. Contacts, I think, look similar. Uh, they may have beat up these top icons here. Uh, let's go dialer. Yeah, like this. These top dialer contacts favorites. I don't remember really because like I said it's been a while since I've used this. But I'm glad to be, like I said, I'm excited to be back in there. Uh, I'm gonna put my SIM card in it right now. My SIM card is my LG V20. I'm gonna swap that out, put it in the Huawei tonight. Uh, my S3 Frontier battery is too low to swap it over now. I'm gonna charge it up and swap it over. So I'll be using this. I'll be able to tell you if the phone's any different. Uh, so I can make some phone calls, see if that's any different. I don't believe it is. Uh, and then, you know, I use Textra. I'll try their messages app again to see if, it's any, if there's been any changes in the past, uh, you know, with the Oreo update. I'm not going to use the music app. I use Google Play Music. Notepad I do use a lot, but I don't know if you want you all to see my notes. I don't think there's any difference here. Alright, there we go.